if you have a real estate property that is not selling, this market is different than the one in the summer and it pays to get creative. A property that we took over from another realtor who was unsuccessful in selling it, we were able to obtain two offers within 30 days and make the seller very happy with their price and their terms. But we had to get creative. We staged the property to reinvigorate showings and interest and to showcase those features of the house that were overlooked the first time. But the second thing we did is we offered a buyer incentive in the amount of a credit at closing. And the reason that we did this is because of the buyer feedback we were receiving after the showings. The buyers liked the house, but they perceived that it needed too much work afterwards. So what we did is we put together a budget for the buyer and we offered them a credit that they could use in whichever ever way they chose. So for instance, if they wanted to make their uh, interest rate go down, they could use part of the credit to buy down their interest rate. If they truly are interested in making more updates after the closing to suit their family's taste, they could again take the credit as a cash credit at closing that would offset their tax prorations, any of their lender fees, et cetera. So that leaves them with a budget that never left their bank account that they can use towards updates after closing. Again, if a property is not moving, it's time to get creative. We held open houses at the property every single weekend to gather market research and to position the property to sell. And it was successful. If something like this could benefit you or a client, please reach out to us.